Part two. Okay. Um, I did a create a scent last week or whenever it was with three different scents. Um, it was blue sugar, cotton candy, candy crush, and sweet angel dust. I'm watching her. And <laughs> blue sugar, cotton candy is one of my favorite scents ever. Because it's... Yeah. Sabrina described it perfectly when this first came out. She said it smells like a sexy man sitting on a bench eating cotton candy. And that's... Yeah, like I would walk up to a stranger... What is that chunk on there? I don't know. Probably a turd. <laughs> <laughs> you never know in my house. <laughs> is it one of your turds? Anyways, <laughs> yeah. blue sugar cotton candy, based yeah. on the description, smells nothing like what you would expect. It's If you like really sweet, sugary scents, then try it, because it's really good. Um, sure, trusting. And then Candy Crush is van warm vanilla sugar, and um, what else is in it? Is it uh, pink sugar? Or pink bubblegum crush? Pink bubblegum crush. Yeah. This is a new scent, too. That <laughs> What are you doing? It just came out, and I ordered some of what she's talking about right, right now are parts of this order that I ordered for her. Yeah, this is another one. It's just a really, really sweet candy type scent. So I thought that would go good with mixing it with blue sugar cotton candy. And sweet angel dust <laughs> is another one that's really, really sweet. It's like a <laughs> really sweet. Sticky, sugary candy smell. So I mixed all three of them and it smelled freaking amazing. Like, you know, those ones you just want to lick the air, as most of us say. What, do I have shit on my nose? <laughs> all over. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Emma, don't say shit. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I mixed them all and that was probably one of my. Ew, it's in my mouth. <laughs> Favorite creative sense I did. And I named it, um, I Need a Sugar Daddy. Because, I mean, it's all sweet, sugary scents. I just wanted to wipe that off of her pocket. All right. Okay. Tiffany D., this was another one of the ones that I think probably in one of our first ever orders. It's a popular one. Very popular. But I don't hear people talk about it as much anymore as they used to. Not since a lot of the newer kind of scents came out. Yeah, there the are... The most popular ones change over time. Well, you know, they have to. But this, to me, smells like bubblegum and cotton candy. It's so good. And watermelon. Yeah. Or and, melon. Yeah. Yeah, this one's one of my favorite ones for summer. <laughs> Booster, mama! <laughs> I love that. That's one of those really, really sweet, girly scents. That, that This is the scent that made my cousin order for the first time. Because I was babysitting her daughter, and I was melting this. And when I sent her home, she said that's all she could smell on her kid was this scent. And that's when she placed her first order. So, pink chiffon type. This is another new one. I've not smelled the dupe of this. Ashton has, but this is so good. I Oh my god, this is good. I don't... For me to just say, oh my god, this is so good, and not give you a scent description, I don't know how to describe it. It's... Oh my god, she just gave me a freaking heart attack. It smells a little bit to me like fantasy type. Kind of, yeah. So if you like fantasy type, or if you like um, Bound to You, you would probably like this. I like this better than Bound to You. It's sweeter. Yeah, this is a really sweet, girly perfume, kind of. This wouldn't bother me, even though it's a perfume. I really like it's that. It's a lot sweet enough to where I could melt it. Woman? And it smells pretty close to the Bath and Body Works. Grandma. Say, Grandma. No, not Daddy. Grandma. <laughs> Everything is Dad with or her. Or Ace. Yeah. She'll say Ace. Sugared shortbread. We've, done We've that. reviewed this one several times already, even though it's fairly new. And I don't know if you guys can see this. There were so many fragrance oils in some of these when I got them this time. It's like eating the bottom of the wax. Oh, so good. 
<laughs> it felt like she was like trying to lift a wig off of my head or something. <laughs> and anyway, sugared short <laughs> sugared shortbread is so good and smells exactly like what it says, like sugared shortbread. Honey spice cake. I think I had this a long, you did. long time ago, but I don't remember what it smelled like. It smells better to me now than it did when I first got it. I don't smell honey and I don't smell cake. All I smell is a lot of spice right now. Um, and I smell cinnamon and I think it's clove. Mm-hmm. Or, I don't know. I don't smell any honey. No. And a teeny tiny little bit of cakey. I don't know. smell any cake. But yeah, it's mostly. I smell nice. more clove than anything else. So, reserving my thoughts on that one for once it's warmed up. <laughs> what is it Be with nice. my hat? Yesterday, all day long, I'm watching her and she kept pulling my hair and thinking it was so funny. You should see your hair right now. It's a mass of static stuck to the side of your head. Pumpkin pecan waffles. This. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is so good, you guys. It smells. I don't oh, know I can if I. Smell I've, it already. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had pumpkin pecan waffles, but it smells like some kind of yummy Thanksgiving. -y Thanksgiving. <laughs> Some kind of yummy Thanksgiving dessert. It kind of reminds me... Careful, Peanut. ...of the almond tree in the mall, but it's like there's something else. Probably but, the pecan or the... Um, I think it's the pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, it's really, this is really good. good. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of, too, is one of those, all, those places in the mall, those little kiosks where they sell all the flavored and candy coated nuts yeah that's what it smells like i can smell the pecans in here yeah and then there is some spice but it's not it's really subtle yeah this is so this might replace pumpkin pecans <coughs> in my or pumpkin pralines yeah, I like in it my better than pumpkin favorites pralines. hey are you getting crabby mm -hmm. miss pris breakfast in vermont she must have she threw that one in back in the box all right, Macintosh apple. This is another that I had a long time ago. I love Victoria's um, apple, all of the different scents that have apple in them. I don't like the oh. green apple because it's too green for me, but this I really like. It smells like a Macintosh apple. To me, it smells like like if you're peeling an apple. Yeah, it does smell more like the um, when you peel bite into or the it. stem. Yeah, like when you bite into it and the juices, like, hit the skin <laughs> of the apple, you perv. <laughs> How did you know what I was thinking? <laughs> um, I won't even go there. Ow, hey. Anyway, it, it does smell like a Macintosh apple. You get that really nice sweetness, but you also get, like, peeling and stem. So that's another one, a really good mixer. Cinnamon coffee is another new to us scent. Now I did a create a scent about a month, two months ago that I called Farmhouse Gathering, which was a mix of country bumpkin and coffee bean. And it smells exactly like this scent shot. Had I known that this scent shot existed, I would have never mixed that up. But, oh my God, this is so good. <sighs> Yum. I'm not big on the coffee scents, but this is really good. And this is like opening a fresh can or bag, whichever you prefer to buy, of dark roast, freshly ground coffee. Yeah. But then you get With that cinnamon. cinnamon in there. Oh, it's so good. That's what that farmhouse gathering create a scent I did smell. I think it's nap time. Just like that. I thought she just woke up. At 11. Oh. Are you getting sleepy? M&M? Are you getting tired? <clears throat> now she's got mommy's camera. Dark Angel. There's a freaking ghost in here. 
That goes off all the time by itself, and it's not supposed to. Her dance, she's dancing. <laughs> Anyways. It's never done it when. My house is haunted. Go get it, Em. Um, Dark Angel, I got this as a free scent shot in one of my orders probably like two years ago. Neither one of us liked it at all. I, I was still like, don't. oh, yuck. I am, um, I do not like that. It's a mix of spearmint, peppermint, and patchouli. Now, it's one of my favorites. So, don't judge anything. What? <laughs> what did I do now? Nothing, just give me it. Don't judge anything I cold sniff alone. Throw it in the warmer and give it a try because this is so good. It smells better than it did when I first smelled it, but I don't. I'm not a huge fan with the minty stuff. I, I think when we first got it, though, to me, if I remember right, the first time we tried it, it smelled a lot more pepperminty. Yeah. And this is this blended is a lot better. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I still... And actually, I like this so much that I've got two of them in here. Anyway, so, nostrils tingle. Um, coffee bean, like I said, I've come to love a lot of Victoria's coffee scents. I need to try a lot more of them. This is straight up dark roast coffee to me. Fresh ground. Yeah. To me, that just makes the house smell homey. You know, when you walk into somebody's house and they've got a pot of coffee. It reminds me of work, because that's all I do is drink coffee at work. <laughs> to try to stay awake. Yeah. May I help you, Missy, you, with the lipstick print on your cheek? Eggnog, I don't know what to think about this one right now. I think it smells... <laughs> like lemon. I Yeah, I smell a lot of lemon, but it's not like just straight up fresh lemon to me. It smells like... This doesn't sound weird. Like if you threw a lemon in on a charcoal grill. <laughs> or... In your broiler. Yeah. Or in a frying pan. And let it like burn a little bit with maybe some sugar around it. That's what it smells like to me. Yeah. I, I was over at Ashton's dad's a while ago and her stepmom was um, melting a eggnog Six scent days? shot. Well, or tart. I don't know what company she got it from or, you know. But I fell in love with it. It smelled like thick, creamy, slightly spiced eggnog. This smells nothing at all like eggnog. I don't, I don't think, it doesn't smell bad. I just don't think it smells like eggnog. No, there's no egginess. There's no creaminess. There's no... I get a little bit of cream, but... I don't get any spice. Like I said, to me, it's like a lemon drizzled in sugar and thrown on the grill. <laughs> yeah. And I don't yeah, know. There's a I lot. I don't know. That's just my nostrils might be off, too. Still no, because I smell the same thing. Mm. And eggnog is not supposed to have citrus in it, to my knowledge. Rum, maybe, or, or is it rum? Brandy? <laughs> Something. I don't smell any of that in here either, so I don't know that doesn't smell like the eggnog we're familiar with. Eskimo Kisses, everybody knows what this one is, a creative scent I did, I don't know, two or three years ago and it got added to the permanent line. It's a mix of vanilla bean, noel, and spearmint because peppermint is normally too minty for me, too sharp. Spearmint is sweeter. I love this. Yeah, dude. Mm. I've actually got this coming in a wood wick candle. No, you told me. Are you jealous? A little. <laughs> I don't burn candles anymore, though, so. Cocoa Beach Baby Peach was the free scent shot. We've had this before. Um, I'm not sure why, but when it said Cocoa Beach, I was thinking cocoa like hot chocolate, not cocoa like coconut. But it is coconut. It's coconut and peach and that's I did not like it at all I, when I got it the first time um but it actually smells better it smells to me now. better now yeah it smells it's more like not. real peach okay actually it smells like those peach rings or like the, the yeah. portion of the peach around the pit where you get a little bit it's sometimes a little bit more tart um so I'll give this one a shot again. 
That's I don't, since I've quit smoking, I found out that, again, some of the stuff that I didn't like before s smells a little better to me now than it used to and vice versa. And weirdly enough, everybody says, oh, your sense of smell is going to improve so much and everything's going to smell stronger and better to you. I, In actuality, nothing smells as strong to me anymore as it used to. Mm -mm. To me, it smells weaker. Yeah. Now, how would you know? You've never smoked. I don't know. I'm just like, <laughs> You're I want to make like, sure we get these all done in two parts. Okay. Apple gingerbread spice. Um, what do you say? Please. 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 Okay. Okay. Good girl. I smell the apple immediately. I melted buttery gingerbread a week or two ago, and... I said it did not smell like gingerbread to me. It does smell more like gingerbread in here. Um, and I do get quite a bit of butter out of this one. So this I really like. That one's yummy. Ashton is getting Miss Emmers a snack. So she'll Let's have go to. go on without me. Oh, I've got to go on without her. Anyway, yeah. This, I think I'm really going to like this. If you like pumpkin apple is it pumpkin apple cinnamon bread i think you'll really like this one what do you got peanut pants fruit and grain organic squeezy box there you want to take a whiff now that you're back yep apples cinnamon mm, good mm -hmm. gingerbread gingerbread <laughs> that'd be a good christmasy one yeah that's my other dark angel chocolate peppermint splash i reviewed this one quite a while ago in my melts I am not. <laughs> I am not normally a fan of peppermint. You've all heard me say it. I think I just said it a minute ago in this video. Um, but mixed with the chocolate, I am a huge fan of Victoria's chocolate scents. To me, this smells just like the Andes mints. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna mix it with um, Sugar. sugared corn pudding. Just because. Yeah, because I can. Because I have is that freedom. so good. I'm going to see how it turns out. A lot of, you know, I thought maybe too it might smell like, um, <laughs> <laughs> like chocolate chip mint ice cream. Mm -mm. But it, it's Andy's mints. Yeah. Me. This is pure Andy's. That chocolate in there is really super creamy. Yeah. Are you going to laugh at me again for the way I said that? No. Okay. Bubble gum smells like straight up original bazooka mm -hmm. this is so good yeah that's i don't even know what else to say except bazooka bubble bubble gum i left the box here last night so she could sniff through a lot of these so mm. and i know this is one of brenda's favorites she's got it in everything what you got oh you want me to take a taste mm. thank you that's very good thank you for sharing Nut House, a.k.a. Pistachio Pudding Cake. Now, this, I thankfully can see better without my glasses close up. Because with these new labels, if I had had my glasses on or my contacts in, I would not have even been able to read what the scent was. Because with all these new instructions on here, when you've got a scent that is that long... The name is that long. The print is so small, it's barely legible. Can you look at that? Yeah. You can hardly see it. Anyway, it Emma. smells like pistachio okay. pudding. I don't think we're going to have enough time it's to do all these. It's very, very good. And I really like that one. Did you look at the time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're at 19 minutes. Okay. I guess we're going to have a part three. Just yeah. to be safe. This is like insanely this, strong when you melt it. Yeah, this is one that an eighth of a scent shot is more than enough because it is so strong. So, back with part three in a second just to make sure that we're not going to run out of time.